Hello YouTube, this is going to be my big tutorial for the week. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to overclock your AMD CPU. Now, there's a few things you should know about overclocking. Overclocking can be potentially dangerous to your um, computer and your chipset and CPU because it could potentially cause damage and you know possibly long-term damage as well. So basically how the damage happens is when you start overclocking your CPU and you get some pretty high clocks and the temperature of your CPU increases when you overclock. So if you get a really high temperature and you keep running at a high temperature, it could melt your CPU over a long period of time or you know it could melt it almost instantly depending on how much you're overclocking. Now I really suggest having an aftermarket CPU cooler like uh, an aftermarket CPU sink. I have a water cooled CPU so I'm fine probably all the way up to 45 percent until it gets a little hot. <clears throat> it also depends on your environment like I have an AC unit in my room so I could probably overclock like crazy if I really wanted to. But anyway, let's get started. First off, download AMD Overdrive. Um, basically this is probably the easiest way to overclock that I've found. So go ahead and download that. And then next, we need to download Core Temp. Now I'm going to leave both of these links for you guys in the description. So you just click on the links in the description if you want to get, or you have to download these. Anyway, so download Core Temp, and I also suggest downloading the Core Temp gadget because that is extremely useful for monitoring the heat. So once you have those downloaded and installed, go ahead and open up Core Temp. Now once you have core temp open, it's going to tell you the frequency of your processors, the maximum maximum heat allowed. Now I would change this to about 70 degrees Celsius. 70 degrees Celsius is when the um, operating system starts having failures on the CPU. So 70 degrees is definitely a good benchmark for a max CPU. And what, what it will do is it will turn off your computer if it reaches up to that temperature as a safeguard. Now this tells your minimum and maximum uh, CPU temperature. Right now mine's probably around room temperature. I think that's 20 degrees Celsius. And it's probably like 72 degrees Fahrenheit. I just want, ah uh, no, 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 I think it's 75 degrees Fahrenheit actually. Um, that's a guess. But anyway, um, you can refresh to get your active CPU um, frequency and it's very useful and if you have the gadget installed it'll show up right here or you may have to add the gadget under gadgets and now we're going to open up AMD Overdrive Now, basically this has a really good setup I really like how this works um, basically if you go up a percentage orange is usually the highest you can go with a stock CPU sink. Now, if you have an aftermarket CPU sink, you can probably go up into the, you know, purple, red. But I, my chipset can only allow, you know, this much voltage, and that is about limited to um, clock speed of 230. So I'm going to keep it down at 227 just to be safe. So even if I run it really hard, it's not going to drink up all the, all the uh, voltage and, you know, crash. And to have a successful clock, you need to increase all the multipliers and uh, everything and all the voltage as well. Otherwise, if you don't increase anything, it's really not going to do you that good. So next we're going to increase the memory voltage just to run a little quicker. Um, I could probably run mine all the way up to, that uh, sounds good, good year, good year, 2005, or 2.005. 
So, after you modify your clock speeds, what you want to do now is you want to make sure you're watching this, and then if you want to modify your clock speeds by um, doing the auto clock, which is pretty useful, I mean, I like it. Basically, what the auto clock does is it takes your computer and it pushes it to the maximal amount of the benchmark. So, it pushes your computer until it crashes, which, you know, it's probably not going to melt your CPU or anything. It's probably going to turn off when it gets too hot. And, um, basically your computer will crash, you'll log back in to Windows, and you'll have it open, and it'll tell you the clock speed where it crashed. So, my clock speed was, uh, 3206, and basically what you want to do is you want to run it underneath that, underneath the crash speed. And even if that runs really hot, what you need to do is just keep lowering it and keep lowering the voltage and all the other settings until you get a comfortable temperature, you know, maybe around 50 Celsius or maybe a little bit higher than that, just depending on, you know, what, what your comfort zone is. So I'm just going to go ahead and increase my clock voltage and this basically tells you that I am not liable and AMD is not liable and you're the one tampering with your software and your hardware and you know if you destroy your CPU or your chipset then it's your fault. It'll take a few minutes to um, activate the overclock. Well, it's uh, okay, it finished activating. Now you can go down to the uh, CPU temp and refresh. And it'll tell you your new clock speed. Um, and it'll tell you voltage and all that. And temperature should go up a little bit. Not very much, though. Uh, depending on your clock, I mean, you could be doing a 30% clock. In that case, you're probably gaining, you know, 10, 15 Celsius, maybe more than that. Um, I strongly suggest doing a stability test. Now, <laughs> it rhymes. Um, basically, a stability test, you can run your computer at maximum speed for long durations and you get an active, um, you need to actively watch your temperature and make sure it doesn't go above a crazy temperature and then if it does you need to reset your clock speeds to a little bit of a lower speed just just to be safe you don't want to melt your CPU and you know this is really taxing it causes a lot of stress and see how my uh, CPU temperature gained and basically it's just running everything at full tilt so I already know that my uh, my computer is never going to overheat and that's how you overclock